Hey guys, in this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to have self-acceptance. This is something that a lot of people struggle with, and in my opinion, society gets just catastrophically wrong. So if you struggle with feelings of, I'm not good enough, or everybody else is better than me, then I think what I have to say in this video is gonna make you feel a lot better about that, and I'm gonna do it in a way that isn't pushing you to self-delusion, isn't telling you that you're perfect just the way you are, and, and all the silliness that everybody else tries to push on you. Chances are you are in a place something like this, where there's this continuum from total wreck to perfect ideal. So if you're all the way to the left side here, you're a total wreck. You're probably addicted to crack and living on the street. And then if you're all the way to the right, everything is perfect. You're beautiful and smart and rich and everything goes perfectly for you and you're happy 100% of the time. And chances are you're not at either side of this. You're somewhere in the middle, right? This is you somewhere in the middle. And so since you're not at this place, since you were not the perfect ideal, I'm not the perfect ideal, none of us really are the perfect ideal. Some people are closer than others, but generally speaking, we can see a gap between where we are and where the perfect ideal is. And for most of us, that makes us uncomfortable. We have some anxiety, we have some depression, we have some negative thoughts because we are not exactly as we would like to be. And society kind of teaches two ways of, of dealing with this problem, which is something I kind of make fun of in this video about self-help books for millennials that are kind of divided into two categories, which is what I'm gonna go over here. The first is that you should beat yourself up and you should not be happy with yourself and, and you should uh, be masochistic and you should do everything that you possibly can to get here right now. And uh, you should be very unhappy with yourself because you're not here already. Right, that's kind of one side. And then the other side is to try to remove this perfect ideal, right? Try to tell you that the ideal isn't really ideal and that you're perfect just the way you are, right? This is kind of like that fat acceptance movement where uh, they say, you know, you're, you may be 300 pounds overweight and you're gonna die within the year of diabetes, but you're perfect the way you are. You shouldn't try to change anything. And your doctor is mean and bigoted for telling you that you have to lose weight. Right, that's one side, and that's the side they're trying to get rid of the ideal, actually, right? They're trying to make all the Barbie dolls fat, and they're trying to make the, the underwear models in the, in the stores ugly, right? They're, they're trying to get rid of everything that's beautiful, everything that we can look up to as a perfect ideal. So they're making, they're making the models ugly, they're making the toys ugly, they're making the art ugly, they're making the architecture ugly, the music ugly, right? Because if they get rid of the ideal, then everybody who is, is uh, not to that ideal doesn't have to feel bad about themselves. That's kind of how the theory goes. So basically you're faced with these two different approaches. Either you can beat yourself up and, and try to grind 24 hours a day to try to get to this place and hate yourself in the meantime, or you can try to delude yourself into thinking that this ideal doesn't exist. And of course that doesn't work because you know that the ideal exists. Even if you don't see reminders of it, even if the Barbie dolls are all fat, you're still gonna know that the ideal exists. You're still gonna know that you're deluding yourself and it's just, you're not gonna feel good. And then to add to my little diagram here, there's a force that's always pushing you backwards. It's always pushing you away from the ideal and that is called entropy. This is the, the tendency to, to move backwards. So if you're not growing, you're dying. Right, if, you, if you're not constantly uh, self-developing yourself, then society is moving on without you, right? The world is evolving, the world is changing, and you have to keep up in order to be able to adapt. So you're on this, I like to think of it as like a, one of those moving sidewalks, one of those conveyor belts that they have in the airport, but you're going the wrong way on it. You're going, you're going uh, against it. So in order to be able to make any progress, your self-development has to move faster in the, in the positive direction than the entropy is pushing you in the negative direction. So let's call this self-development. And so if you get stuck into that thought pattern of saying, I'm perfect just the way I am, I don't have to change a thing, you're just gonna get sucked back until your life is a total wreck and you're addicted to crack and you're on the street. <laughs> And then on the other hand, if you get sucked into the other side where you're, you're constantly grinding all of the time, well, it's gonna take you a while to get to this point, 
even, even if what you're doing is working, it's going to take you a long time to get to that point of being the perfect ideal. And do you want to be miserable the entire time because you haven't achieved it yet? Probably not, and you may never achieve it, and probably if you do that for long enough, you're going to get burned out, and then you're going to fall for the, the self-delusion side. You're going to say, oh, well, I don't need to try this hard anyway. I can just accept myself, and, and uh, everything will be fine. You know, I talked to a guy, actually. I thought this was interesting. I talked to a guy uh, about his career who he wanted my help, uh, but he had been unemployed for the last eight years. He was a computer programmer. Uh, and he was a programmer in COBOL, which is a, a very old computer programming language, which isn't really used very much anymore. And he recognized that, you know, he couldn't find a job in part because he knew this old programming language and there just wasn't much of a demand for it. And, and so I asked the guy, are you willing to learn a newer programming language? And he said, no, just flat out said, no, I'm not willing to learn. So that's a guy who's sitting on this entropy conveyor belt and is not moving. He's just sat down and says, I'm fine with my COBOL knowledge. And so the conveyor belt is just moving him back, back, back until he's almost at this point already. And, and life is not going to get better unless he makes a change. So you always have to be developing yourself. You always have to be moving in this direction. But here's the key that the, the super self-disciplined people that are always uh, telling you to beat yourself up and grind all the time are missing. And that is <clears throat> that you can accept yourself while you're walking in this direction. You don't have to be here to accept yourself. You can accept that where you are now is the perfect place for you in this moment. And that you're gonna take a few steps in this direction today and then you're going to be just a little bit closer to that perfect ideal. And then where you are tomorrow, which is just a little bit closer to the perfect ideal, is going to be the perfect place for you tomorrow. And then the day after and the day after and the day after. And if you can just make a little bit of progress in this direction every single day, then you can feel really good about that. You don't have to wait until you've already achieved the perfect ideal before you can accept yourself. If you are oriented in the right direction, if you are facing this direction and you are making movement, that's something to feel good about. And there's no reason for you to compare yourself to anybody else, by the way, because everybody else's journey is different. Everybody else had a different starting point in this life. Everybody else has different strengths and weaknesses. Everybody else has different circumstances. What you want to do is you want to compare yourself today to where you were yesterday and then tomorrow to where you were today. If you were making progress in this direction, then that's, that's the comparison that matters. But if you decide to accept the self-acceptance nonsense that a lot of people are peddling that says that you're perfect just as you are and just plop your butt down on the moving sidewalk, then you're just going to move more and more this direction and you're going to be depressed. By the way, you're going to be very depressed because some part of you, the, the innermost part of you, your soul, if you will, is going to recognize that you are moving in this direction. It's going to recognize that you're not growing, so you're dying. And it's going to give you that, sim that signal like, hey, I, we're moving in the wrong direction. Do something about this. And when you get feelings of depression, that's something to pay attention to, right? That's, that's a signal from your soul that something is going wrong. Right, it's like when you're driving down the highway and you, you veer off the highway outside the lines and there's those, those little bumps that like brrr, and they jar you, right? It's a jarring feeling. It's saying, hey, you're off the road, get back on the road, right? Your emotions are doing the same thing. If you feel negative emotions, it's saying, hey, get back on the road. Something is wrong, something needs to change. It drives me nuts that everybody wants to cover it up with drugs. They say, oh, well, there's a chemical imbalance in your brain. Uh, you know, n never bothering to even ask the question, why? Why is there a chemical imbalance in your brain? They just say, oh, there is a chemical imbalance in your brain, so take drugs to cover up the problem, right? That's, it's never going to work. You're trying to cover up your signaling mechanism that is telling you that something is wrong. And so if you want to be able to accept yourself, then here's the way to do it in a way that's healthy and actually is in alignment with reality that doesn't require you to delude yourself. Where you are today is the perfect place for you to be today. And where you are tomorrow should be just a little bit better than where you are today. And where you are the day after that should be just a little bit better. 
it's constant self-development, it's enjoying the journey, and it's having the faith that if you take a few little baby steps every single day, then you'll get to the place where you need to be. As with most things in life, this eventually comes down to faith. If you have a standard, and that's why this ideal is so incredibly important, right? I mean, these people that are trying to remove the ideal, at thinking that we're gonna have some socialist utopia, uh, it, it's never gonna work, right? It's never gonna work. We need the ideal because the ideal is, is points us in the right direction. We identify this as, this is the direction in which I should be going. Otherwise, you're completely aimless. But you need to accept that you're not there yet and that's okay. That you are walking towards the ideal, but you're not there yet. It's the same as if you were driving across the country. I live in Florida. Let's say I was driving to California. Am I gonna beat myself up because I'm not in California yet, right? A, a day into the journey, I'm gonna be, I don't know, be in Louisiana or something. I'm, am I gonna be mad at myself because I haven't gotten to California yet? No, that would be totally stupid, right? It's a journey. Recognize that it's a journey. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some effort. And if you are making progress in the right direction, then everything is good. Everything is exactly how it should be. So if that's something that you can accept, if that's something that sounds reasonable to you, then you have no reason not to be able to accept yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. It makes a YouTube algorithm like me better. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon beside the subscribe button if you want more like this in the future. Share this with somebody who needs to hear it. I know there are a lot of people out there who need to hear this message. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And I think you might also like this video where I try to answer the big question, what is the purpose of life? So that's it for me. See you guys next time.